Hey guys, what's up? It's Fastball23 here, and welcome to episode 3 of Blood and Bones. Um, yeah, if you guys watched my last episode, uh, you will realize that half of my video got deleted somehow, and I think I found the problem, and that won't be happening anymore, so, um, I did explain a little bit what happened, but I'm gonna go through and I'll re-explain a couple of different things, um, so yeah, let's get right to it. Uh, first of all, uh, there's a hole here. Um, a creeper decided to come in here and blow up my house at one point, and I just kind of fixed it up a little bit. Um, I did make a juicer, and I did tell you guys that I was going to explain how to make a juicer. So I'm going to do that right now. Here's my juicer. Juicer's real simple. It's basically, you take a stone, and a pressure plate, and you put it in a crafting recipe like so, and you get a juicer. Now a juicer, let me just put this stuff up real quick. Basically you take, for example, this strawberry, and you have to grab your juicer first, which I have. Um, and you take this juicer, and you put it in there like so, and you get strawberry juice. Um, you can use it with a lot of different uh, kinds of foods. Uh, most of the berries, stuff like that, and it's pretty exciting stuff. I'm also going to be making... Do I have the stone for it? I do. One of the reasons I made up a bunch of stone, guys, we are going to be, um, going to be making a lot of things that require stone. Also, stone, regular stone, isn't griefed by mobs. So... If I do want to make a base at some point, I'm going to need a lot of stone. Okay, I'll make a mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle is used for a lot of different food ingredients also. I did also tell you guys that I was going to make drying racks, which I think I can do. I'm just going to use all, all my wood right now. That's what I'm going to do. We're gonna make drying racks. That's what we're gonna do, guys. We're just gonna make a bunch of drying racks. We'll make ten of them. And we'll save these for building. Alright, great. So, these drying racks, like I was explaining, or was going to explain to you, you put them up. Uh, where am I gonna put them, guys? We'll put them along this wall back here. Nope, we're not going to do that. I'll put a couple back here. Nope, I won't. Drying racks are kind of funny sometimes. They don't go where you want them to. So I'll put them... Um, put them up here. So guys, you don't have to only put food on these drying racks. You can also put... Oh, I thought I had some more meat. You can put really anything up there. So for example, my mortar and pestle I just made. You can throw that up there. And it's almost like a decor decorative little thing. So I got my mortar and pestle and juicer up there. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, let me just decorate this a little bit. It's a little bit more accessible. Probably don't have to do this on camera, but YOLO. Alright, I'll uh, put another one. Yeah, why not? Okay. So, yeah, guys, let's check the time. Uh, it is the middle of the day. I need to go out there and get some stuff. Uh, I did want to show you guys where I did find all of that clay, and I need to actually get some more. So. Let's repair my pickaxe, and then let's get to it. Throw that in there. Alright, so here we go. I'm hoping there's no enemies going to jump out at us. I don't have a bed yet, so I don't respawn. Okay. I also did make this top part so I can kind of tell where my base is. 
Yeah, guys, as you can see, uh, the oh, sheep. I'm actually going to grab some sheep, too, because I do need the wool. I'll make a bed. This way, if I do die, I'll respawn in my base. Did I not get the wool? No, I did get the wool. And you can see how uh, mobs now are... Or not mobs. Even the sheep are... Or, eh. Once you attack a sheep, uh, if you're within a certain a certain area of other sheep, they'll all attack you in a group, and <laughs> they are not very nice. They hit very hard, so just be careful when you're attacking sheep. Let me grab some wood first. So I have to be careful of sheep in that area now. I hear them. I didn't drop any mutton chops either. I need mutton chops. Oh, this is too many sheep. That I'll be able to take on all those sheep. Uh, you know, while I'm here, guys, I'm gonna grab some sand too. Oh yes, and gravel. So clutch. Awesome, guys. Yeah, for gravel. We're just gonna keep doing this for a while. So yeah, guys, like what, like I said before, I'm really sorry about the recording. Uh, I figured, you know what? I'll do a double feature. I'm gonna upload this with my other video at the same time. You guys can kind of have a double episode. Um, just because I feel bad. Uh, I don't. I don't know exactly what happened, but I did fix the problem, so it's not. It's not gonna happen anymore. Found an apple. But, yeah, there's some more clay right there, guys. I found a huge patch of it over here. You can see I dug it out. And I might have enough time to fix my... I hope I have enough time to fix it. Uh, this right here was a water creeper, I want to say it's called. And what they do is they blow up they turn into this structure, this cobblestone structure, and then every oh geez, really? Every time I try to break one of those pieces of cobblestone, it turns into a silverfish, which is not very nice. So let me just grab my juicer, and I can actually make apple juice out of this, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna eat my apple. <laughs> I said it again. I'm gonna drink my apple juice. And I'm going to put rotten flesh up there. You guys can see how that works. The juice are back up here. I'm hoping I'm gonna have enough time for. I put, oh. I so guess this is. Use this flint. Oop. And bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Alright. Throw the fish up there. Berries. Throw the wood since I am getting a little heavy. Wool, I have three now. Nice, I can make a bed. What time is it? Nah, it's almost night time. I might be able to grab a couple more pieces before it gets dark. We'll see. Come on, get there. Where's the sun? Alright, and my shovel leveled up. Nice. Uh, it's gonna be close. You know what? I'm just gonna grab this sand. I don't need to do more clay. I don't need any more clay. Yep, we're getting clay. It's too late. I've decided. This is very dangerous right now, guys. I don't have any armor. Uh, and there's a skeleton shooting at me. Okay, that's my cue. Yep, that's my cue, guys. We're out of here. We're leaving. Whew. All right. So yeah, guys, we successfully made it back to the base without anything terribly terrible happening. 
and that's good. And I need bang bang, and I need some gravel. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna make some grout. We're actually gonna make a lot of grout. Make 64 pieces of grout. And we're gonna throw this up in here. And I did find that coal last time. Uh, where's the coal? There we go. And I'm just gonna split this, I think, into four sections. Two a pop. More efficient. And, uh, alright, there we go. So that's gonna cook up pretty quick. Looks like I do have more than enough stuff there. Uh, I'm also going to need to cook up some some glass and some other stuff. But yeah, guys, you know what? I'm going to mine a little bit. I know you guys probably don't want to see this, but I'm going to go down here and mine and grab my stairs. Always take stairs with you guys. It's uh, definitely better on your health. Even though they're cobblestone for right now. So, yeah guys, uh, I'm going to do this and I will be right back. Alright guys, not a huge deal uh, for the most part, but this is the first copper I found on camera. So I just want to show you guys and see how many we get. This actually might not be a bad little patch. I don't want to forget to light this place up. And I'm hearing things blowing up the top, and I'm not liking that. Not bad, guys. We got some decent, uh, yeah, this is a decent little patch right here. Four pieces of copper. Just close that up a little bit. So, yeah, just want to show you guys that, and I will uh, continue on my way. All right, guys, very important find. We got some tin. Now, that's going to be not for this mining upgrade, but for the next one. After, well, actually, it's going to be the third one. After I get all this copper, the next thing is going to be I'm going to need tin for the next upgrade, third upgrade, if you will. So that'll be huge the one right after iron. So I've got some pieces to start out with there, that's real big, and let's see where we're at time-wise. Alright, so, just a little past midnight. Yeah, I'm just digging along, guys. Nothing to really see here. It's raining outside, wonderful. Looks like the grout's all done. We got seared brick here. I think we're gonna have about two stacks of seared brick. By the way, guys, stacks in this are usually 16 or 32. The only thing that stacks at 64 that I know of is clay. There might be a couple other things. But the... I have to cook some of this up too, actually. Take a half stack. Also, as you notice, cobblestone only sits in 16s. Can't go any higher. Stone, same thing. So it can be kind of pain, kind of a pain in the bootox. Guys, let me make my bed right now. So you would think, you know what? Let's just sleep. Wait till it's daytime. It's all good. Not the case in Blood and Bones, guys. Not the case at all. There is no sleeping in Blood and Bones. It does set your respawn point, but you cannot sleep through the night. So. That is not good. Make myself a little mini bedroom right here. For now, I'm gonna have to eat really soon. Spawn location has been set. Enjoy the night. <laughs> exactly.
I'm just I'm just throwing my juicer around, that's all. Not a big deal. Eat one more of these. Yeah, might as well eat one more. There we go, full health. Found some coal down there. Alright, so we got some glass going. Might as well throw this back up there too. So hey guys, it is daytime. The only problem is a bunch of mobs are out there. Uh, Alright, so I am not going to go out there just yet. What I am going to do is prepare my smeltery. I've got 14 glass. I'm going to start making the parts for the smeltery. And I guess I'll go through and show you guys how to make that. So let's just... Alright, so for example... Let's see what we got here. Eight seared bricks, perfect. What do I have down here? There's four more. What I have to do, guys, is... I'm going to clear this area out. Uh, you know what? You guys don't need to watch this. Uh, let me clear this out, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys. So, we're back. I just finished this nice little hole in the mountain. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting down some of the things that I'm going to need to build this smeltery. And we'll just, like so, we'll just do this. <clears throat> so my plan is to make it right here. I want to do two levels high. And we're going to need some other pieces as well. So let's go make those. I do have my glass here, good. So let's go ahead and make some of the things we need. There's the drain. We're going to need two of those. We're going to need two of these faucets. Now, guys, we're not going to have enough right off the bat. I still have to cook up some more. But I'm just going to make a couple things. I believe. Yeah, we're just going to make one more brick. Yeah, it should be good for now. So I like to make it where... Where the controller is right in the middle. And then the drains are going to be up here. So let's see. I'm not going to have enough bricks. So the drains are actually going to be propped up on this top brick. You know what? It's going to be like this. Alright. Drain's going to be up here. And then the seared faucet right there. And then we're going to have our casting table or basin on one side. And then the other one on the other side. We'll put all our chests over here. So this should be enough room. This should be this should be good. So uh, I'm gonna continue making some of this stuff, and then after that, I gotta find some lava, and then we can get this thing rolling. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So yeah, it's nighttime. Uh, all right, I am not going to go outside, but what I am gonna do is I'm looking at some of the recipes for potatoes because I really haven't done a whole lot with potatoes. We do have a village right over yonder and we do have a decent amount of potatoes so I'm actually cooking up some potatoes right now and I think I'm going to make we've got a ton of blueberries a ton of carrots I'm gonna make some mixed fruit stuff that should be good I believe this is all you need for the mixed bowl no that's not right Need for the bowl of fruit. Hmm. Fruit salad. I do need a cutting board, don't I? Huh. If you're ever confused about anything, guys, you can always refer to this menu and figure out 
what you need. Uh, something I like to do also, say for example you're looking at strawberries and you don't know what you want to make out of strawberries, you can just right click on that and it actually tells you what kind of recipes you can make. So this is just a bunch of stuff. So this is what I was looking to try to make. The bowl and then the berry medleys. Also, if you hold, if you hover above this and hold shift button, you can see how it comes down and shows you how much saturation and health it gives back. Which is kind of cool. Um, I guess I'm not going to make those for now because they're just kind of not the best. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to that village and grab some more stuff. We're going to also eventually have to start a farm. I'm not going to do that probably until I have armor, until we have a little bit more food. I guess the earlier the better, but we're just not really equipped right now for that, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait till it's morning time. I'm just going to stand around for a little bit, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back in business. It is now daytime, and oh look! Turned into beef jerky. Monster jerky. Yum. I don't know if it's unintelligent to go outside without food or not. I'm gonna grab one wild carrot and some of these. I think that's good. Alright guys. Let's do this. It's like carrots are gonna be a main source of food. For us. I'm hoping there's no guys waiting outside for me. Which there probably are. Yep, I hear something. Turn that off. Oh, creeper. Mini creeper. Hi. There's a little fake out action. Oh, that is a troll. That's absolutely a troll. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, we are going to have to go out the backside, guys, it looks like. Actually, going to put this up here. The good news is, guys, we did... Oh, troll, don't do it. That's, that's a glitch. That's fine, he's not really there. Um, guys, we are going to have to go out the back door, and there is a creeper right out here, so... Uh, wish me luck here. I could also hear a Ramabra. Just hoping that I'm not running right into him. And I am, okay. Why would I even look there? Oh boy. That's right, you don't want any. As I run away in fear. Alright guys, so yeah, that was that was fun. Now we just have to stay away and wait till they despawn. All the mobs. Hopefully they do. Hoping to come far enough away from our base that they go away by the time it turns to night. Oh boy. That's splitting creeper. Awesome. Yes. That was the one that I didn't want. <sighs> blood and bones, guys. Blood and bones. I actually might make some wooden armor just because... This is nuts. Doesn't give a lot of... I don't know. This doesn't do a whole lot for you, but... It's definitely better than nothing. And the way I've been having luck with mobs so far, um, it might be worth it. 
I'm actually gonna run out of hatchet, aren't I? Yes, I am. Okay, let's. The heck was that? Oh, thorns. What the heck is this? It was hitting me. guys uh, I don't see any clay over here I'm gonna make my way around to the front and I stepped in the thorns please don't die I have next to no health it's midday but you know what I'm looking out for guys we're looking out for that poison ivy because that has absolutely been the death of me this game Zombie somewhere. There's some clay. I'm gonna grab this clay, guys. Probably gonna need all of it. And I'm probably gonna need some more sand. And I know I need gravel. I think one more run of sand and gravel and we will have enough for the smeltery. So... Let me grab the rest of this, guys, and make it back home. And we will talk about what I found when I get there. Be right back. Sweet, guys. I did find that gravel pile that I was at. Um, an episode ago. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. If it was um, if you guys saw it, I don't know. But if you didn't, it's pretty close to base. And I'm gonna grab all of it because I need all of it. And some salt. Oh baby. Yes. We are gonna need some salt for some food stuff. more salt over here and my shovel broke by the way too guys so that's always fun so yeah I'm gonna just get the rest of this and I'll see you back at base unless something else pops up again all right guys and we made it home let me just plug this up in the back and making this hole. Alright, so <clears throat> let's see what all we got. We got 14 dirt, yay! We got some wood, we got some more rubber, we got a ton of sand, gravel, good, gunpowder, good. Let's put some of our food away. Put our onion back. Okay, we found salt. That's good take the stone saw out. I am going to make another chest. Half chest, if you will. Yeah, just might as well. Okay. And with the chest, I am going to make more room for our food storage, because it seems that we are running out of room. This won't open because it won't open. And I'm a dum dum. There we are. Alrighty. This is going to go in there. 26, 32. Okay, we can make 26. We can make 52 more grout. I think that's almost all that we need for the grout. I might be wrong. Don't quote me. Just for the first level, anyway. Throw this in here like so. 
So yeah, guys, uh, I think that this is going to be about it for the episode. We're running out of time. Uh, sorry I didn't get everything up that I wanted, but you know how that happens in Blood and Bones. Sometimes things take an unexpected turn, and yeah. And once again, guys, I can't apologize enough for the recording on the last episode. Uh, that was completely my bad. And I hope this double feature makes up for that a little bit at least. If not, well then, punch me with a cat. I don't know. Figure something out. Um, but yeah, guys. So I'm going to cook this up. We're going to stop it right here. And we're going to continue here next episode. I'm going to completely finish the smeltery next episode, I promise. We have all the stuff we need, I believe. If we don't, then I don't know. I'll just go get it, but I think we should be good there. We're going to make some better tools next episode. We're going to do... We're going to do a lot of different stuff next episode. Uh, hopefully we can find iron also, which would be huge. I can start making a cutting board for some food, make, get, get our food stuff better. And I'm going to actually go back into the village next episode also. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching episode three of Blood and Bones. Don't forget to leave a comment or a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. i got to stop saying subscribe. It's subscribe. So silly. But anyway, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.